Gramina is a platform for AI image and video generation and AI lip sync video generation. I've been testing out the AI lip sync tool and it's pretty good. Let's take a look at some of the stuff I've generated and then I'll show you how to create an AI lip sync video using Dramina. Uh, the doctor is running a little behind. It took him longer than usual to make bail this morning. That one I used audio I generated in 11 labs and an image I generated right here in Dramina. And for the lip sync, you have two mode settings, master and fast. For most of these, I used master. But for this one, I did try to rerun it in fast mode. The resolution in her face seems really low, especially around her mouth. It's just not great. And it just produced a video with no audio. I had the same problem with this fella. It produced a video that looks like he's lip syncing, but there's no audio in the output file. I ran it again and got the same result. At some point later, I was scrolling through my asset library and I noticed this little message. Your video has been temporarily muted because the audio you uploaded may contain unauthorized music. That's really interesting because there was no music in that audio. It was just words from 11 Labs. I checked this other one and sure enough, it is the exact same message. And that's even more interesting because it generated with that audio once. So I went to 11 Labs, used a different voice to create the speech, tried again and got this. If you're looking for directions, I can get you lost three different ways. I think it does really good with the lip sync and I like how it just adds some little light flickers and things in the background that make it look real. Here we got a bit of a sassy diner waitress. Yeah, everything we got is gluten free. We don't charge extra for the gluten. Now this one has like a profile view of our subject. So he's not facing the camera and he's not super close up. And here's how it did with that. At this point, I'm not sure if I'm having a deep thought or just forgot why I came out here. And it handled that really well. Here's a lady at a bus stop. One time I accidentally got on the wrong bus and ended up in a parade. And honestly, it was the best Tuesday I ever had. The lip sync looks good and some of the people moving in the background look good, but some of those people and cars look like they're frozen in motion and should be moving but aren't. I reran this one and while I was at it, I went ahead and used one of the Dramina text-to-speech voices instead of uploading the 11 Labs audio. One time I accidentally got on the wrong bus and ended up in a parade, and honestly it was the best Tuesday I ever had. Not much different as far as some of those cars and people look like they're stopped in places they shouldn't be stopped. Next up, we have some sage wisdom from this fella. I used to have a five-year plan, but now I just plan on making it to lunch without losing my mind. And then we've got a customer service philosophy from this lady at a, supposed to be a bank. I don't know. It could also pass as any kind of government office. Of course, we value your time, which is why we've designed this entire process to test your very last ounce of patience. I really like the way at the very end, she sort of punctuates what she's saying with that little hand gesture. Next up, I got a fella in front of a hardware store. If you can't find what you're looking for in there, just ask Jim. Unless you're looking for Jim, because he's at lunch again. Now, if you look at his hand gesture at the very end, his hand does get a little blurry when he takes it down. But it seemed like he had the right number of fingers, and I'm not sure that little blurriness at the end is a deal breaker. For all these so far, I used images that I generated here in Dramina. For this next one, I have an image that I generated in ChatGPT 4.0. When you left, I told you not to come back. But here you are, looking like walking regret. Now for that one, instead of creating the audio in 11 labs, I use the text-to-speech in Dramina and use the voice Matilda. And I'm not real crazy about it. I think that voice, it sounds like one that I think is used a lot in various short videos and whatnot. So it just doesn't do it for me, but it wasn't terrible. I went back and tried our waitress in the diner scene on fast mode instead of master mode. And here's how that came out. Yeah, everything we got is gluten-free. We don't charge extra for the gluten. Here's the fast mode and the master mode side by side. The one generated in master mode has a little something extra to it, but I don't see any problems in this one generated in fast mode. I also gave it a shot at making a dog talk. I heard the mailman again. Don't worry, I barked at him. Now that was with Dramina's text-to-speech using a voice named Wacky. I'm not sure it really fits. And I don't really think the sync and the lip sync is like super awesome, but it's a lot better than what I see out of most AI lip sync tools when it comes to lip syncing pets. To create AI lip sync videos using Dramina, go to dramina.capcut.com. 
you'll need to sign in this button in the upper right hand corner, which brings you to another page with a sign in button. And there's this little acknowledgement under it that says sign up with your CapCut account and then terms of service privacy policy. And if you don't check that little box and you try to sign in, it'll say to continue agree to sign up with your CapCut account. Then when you check the box and click sign in, well, then you can sign in with all these accounts. So I don't really know why I needed to sign in with my CapCut account if I'm signing up with one of these other accounts. So maybe that's just how they're linking your Dramina account to your CapCut account so they can move things back and forth. Or maybe it has something to do with the terms and privacy policy and all that. If you're good with all that and get signed in, back on the home page here, come down on the left menu and click lip sync. Then up near the top left where it says character, you can either drag in an image that you already have that you want to use for your lip sync, or you can click the button and then choose to either upload or add from assets. That would be things that you've generated here on Dramina. If you click on add from assets, it'll open up a modal, but it's not all the images you've generated on Dramina. It only wants you to use upscaled images for AI lip sync generation. Now, in order to upscale an image you've generated on Dramina, you could just hover over that image and you see this little HD button is the upscale button. If you're looking at the big preview of one of your images and you want to upscale from there, it's right over here on the right HD upscale under this edit heading. Once you've got your image selected, now you need to choose a mode. They call this generation effect. I call it mode. They have master mode, which is ultra realistic, full body movements and background animations or fast mode, which is faster generation speed and lower creation cost. Next, we need to figure out the audio. You can use text to speech or upload your own audio. It supports all the common audio formats up to 10 megabytes and up to 15 seconds in length. If you're not creating the audio separately and importing it and you want to use this text to speech option, just click on the text to speech tab and type in what you want the character to say. And if you have text in this text to speech box and you click the preview button, it'll preview the text that you supplied, not just some generic text. So we've got Alice in here right now. One time I accidentally got on the wrong bus and ended up in a parade. We click over here on the right. We can see the voices they have available. Here's Jesse. One time I accidentally got on the wrong bus and ended up in a parade. Oh uh, yeah, no thanks. Here's Lily. One time I accidentally got on the wrong bus and ended up in a parade. Once you've got the audio figured out, whether that's text-to-speech or something you uploaded, the only thing left to do is hit the generate button. And in doing so, you're acknowledging that you're not using any copyrighted music, images that you don't have rights to, and it's not ByteDance's fault if you do something dumb. Now, even though Dramina is dramina.capcut.com and we had to check the little box saying we're connecting and using a CapCut account, it doesn't look like that gets you the all access pass or anything to Dramina that has a separate subscription. They do have a free plan that gives you daily credits. The basic plan, if you go monthly, is $15 a month and that's if you have auto renewal turned on. It's 1,010 credits a month. You can export without the Dramina watermark. That's the big Dramina watermark that's down on the bottom right, but it does still have this small AI watermark up on the upper left. You can also extend the video length and increase the video resolution and smoother videos with a frame rate up to 60 frames per second. Now the basic plan with 1010 credits says it'll get you up to 505 images or 42 videos. Keep in mind this 42 videos they're calculating here. I don't think that's necessarily referring to lip sync videos, especially if you're generating in master mode. You're not going to get anywhere near that many videos for 1010 credits, but Dramina is also an image and AI video either text to video or image to video platform they have different models and different durations and different modes and different tools that all change the amount of credits that are required to use them if you want to try it for one month without the auto renew at the end of the month that's $18 for the basic they also have yearly plans the basic is $145 a year which brings it down to $1208 per month all the way up to the advanced at $670 for the year which works out to $55.83 a month now, if you're wondering who's behind the Dramina platform, ByteDance is the parent company of Dramina. ByteDance is also the parent company of CapCut and TikTok and some others. Now, ByteDance is also the maker of the OmniHuman AI video generation model, and it looks like that's what's powering the AI lip sync tool here in Dramina. And ByteDance is also behind the C-Dream 3 image generation model, which is available here in Dramina under the image generation. My name is Bob. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you come back and see me in another video.